family together and he wanted to tell the whole story of Christmas using that hymn. So there's like 13, 15 verses to that because Luther never did anything short. I've always said if I did the 95 theses, there would be five. But when Luther does them, there are 95, right? Okay. So we turn to God's word. Thanks for the introduction, Kathy, and thanks for doing that for us this morning. Um, running our children and us, because we're all kids at heart, that we need to be in the word, especially this time, and, and to get in that word about, uh, about Christmas. So let's get into the word in Isaiah. Um, talk about a bleak time in the history of God's people. Isaiah is a prophet during the time of exile, a little bit before, and, and then during the time of exile. Why are the children, why are the people of God in exile? Because they hadn't followed God. They turned away from God. Uh, they started worshiping other gods, and God allowed them to be conquered by their enemies. But here's the thing. God is a God of patience, and he always brings hope. Hope, the color uh, blue is a color of hope, uh, that there's always hope. Uh, and you and I are our people of hope, and talk about that in a minute in the, uh, in the message. We ought to be people that bring hope to this world, because there's a lot of things that are taking hope out of this world, especially this time of year and as you watch the news and things like that. So here's Isaiah already prophesying that God is going to bring hope by teaching us, by coming to us. So turn to Isaiah chapter 2. It's page 722 in your pew Bible. And our Old Testament reading begins at verse 4. So the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be lifted up above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it. And many people shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations he shall dis- and shall decide disputes for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God, we say. 